Matthew Bezicek here from the New Way Agronomy team doing another agronomic update for you. Wanted to kind of build off of the inhibitional chilling that we talked about earlier and planting date. And now that we're a month down the road here, we've kind of learned what was good and what was bad uh, for guys to do this spring. And the reason why we chose the cornfield that we were in, this cornfield was actually planted on the 26th of April, so that, or 27th of April. That was right in that window of where it was a little bit cold for soil temps. We were probably floating in that 45-ish temperature in the soil temp. And, you know, ideally it's supposed to be around 50. So one thing that happened right after this cornfield was planted was that it was probably on a Wednesday, Thursday. By that Saturday, we ended up getting a half inch of rain on this field. And that rain actually warmed up the soil temp. So we saw it float from the 45 and it jumped all the way up to 52, 53. So that was the biggest thing that kind of saved people who planted in that early window. Now, one thing I did is most of the growers said, the field conditions out there were perfect. So they, it was just great for a seed bed preparation. So guys took a chance and they planted it. Uh, the one thing to note though is GDU wise, they really didn't accumulate any more GDUs than guys who planted that next week, kind of around that five, six type time frame. There was really only two GDUs accumulated between that time. 120 GDUs is what we need to accumulate in order for corn to emerge. So in reality, they didn't really gain that much, but I could say soil conditions were good, they got corn in the ground, took a risk, and then maybe they got more of their corn planted then before the next window. Once the next window came, yeah, then we're a little bit behind on GDUs. But as it pertains to GDUs, one thing to note, this year to date, so this cornfield was planted on 426, Calculated them based on 531, we have accumulated 305 GDUs so far. If we compare that to last year, we are actually ahead of last year. Last year from 426 to 531, we only accumulated 278 GDUs. I'll explain GDUs a little bit more uh, in the body of the email, but just something that I want to reference that, hey, we are actually a little bit further ahead than what we were last year. So um, yeah, 120 GDUs is what it takes for a normal two inch corn depth uh, plant to emerge. And I would say now we got most of our corn emerging. Um, one good thing to do is take a look at stand counts and you can also confirm planting depth. So we have a picture included that kind of shows planting depth. And also it works really good to have a chain or something or a rope uh, designed out for the proper measurement for what you need to do to do stand counts. So uh, stay tuned, more to come, and uh, we'll touch base later.